What is happening, everybody? This is your boy Nikenstein2345 doing it big. Uh, and on the Bugs Bunny 8s, which uh, soon are coming out with the uh, Tinker Alternate 8s, which pretty much looks like the Bugs Bunny 8s. So just won't throw that out there. But today, I want to show you guys a reminder. And I'm only showing heat because these are my main three favorite Jordans that I got in my closet that are releasing you know this year for 2017 that i already have now um fours i have right here are the 1999 bread fours get the nike air on the back now there's a rumor they're supposed to saying that um these are going to be coming back out for 2017 and um hopefully they do come back out even though i'm going to rock them with the the missing wings on them because it's so old and beat but they're just so nice especially with that nike year on the back you know for the hype beats out there let's just throw that out there and um you can't res you, you can't help it uh this shoe is like my second favorite jordan of all time everybody knows what my favorite jordan of all time is you know for who really 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 know me like that you no, know, the fours is like my second favorites of all time. Um, oh yeah, Nike tags about the cracks. I'm restoring these again though, and I'm gonna rock them. I'm not gonna cop these at all, uh, just because I took a I paid a lot of money for these before they start falling apart. I paid some money for these. Um, I got them for a steal, but they still were a lot of money. But they were a steal price, so I had to get them. But I had to soul swap them. I had to swap the, the Nike Air tab on them soon because they're cracking and I can't replace these. But I'm going to keep these and still rock them just like this. And I'm going to call these the wingless fours. All right, now we're on to the next one. I've been on that shoe for a while. The next one that I got to show and I have to show. Oh, let me sit up close for this one. Oh, it's the playoff. 13. Now these are also rumored to be retro again as well. You know, I don't really buy none of the new Jordans and because the price of the new Jordans are way too expensive for crappy qua uh, for crappy quality. Sorry about that. I got tongue twisted. But the quality on the new ones are garbage. I did a comparison with my playoffs and with the Pearl 13s that retro I want to say 25 15 or something and man i was really like pissed because this is the 13s is my favorite series jordans you know i had them as a kid i had them as an adult you know and i'm still have them because i'm an adult <laughs> but um these right here i'm getting ready to restore i'm not buying the new ones as well and a little bit of a heel drag but i can soul swap that too and um that's the only way i'll probably buy the newer ones and it'll probably be the 2011 retro but you know when you have the originals to that nice premium leather like this and hopefully jordan brand does that again bring back the og 13 it's still a retro but bring that og feel quality the 2011's last time had red on the bottom and not gray and that's how you can tell these are original not fakes, not replicas, whatever we're going to call them. These are the original real deals. Even the hologram on the bottom is fogged out. And right now, this is a little bit better shoe because this one, my hologram finally cracked on me. And I'm still rocking proudly. So, uh, but do not pass up on the playoff 13s in the bread 4s. And the bread 4 is more likely going to be... 220 but i won't be shocked if they'd be 230 250 and these are going to be retail for 190 and last but not least last but not least my all-time favorites my all-time favorites i already said it's the 13s but my colorways like that are my number ones the flints flint 13s now this <sighs> Did they have to do a good job on these? The Flint 13s. This is my favorite Air Jordan of all time. I had them as a kid. 
I got a, I've got I've gotten multiple pictures of these to where my mom and dad first got these for me on my my sixth birthday party to where I wore these at, at, at Chuck E. Cheese just everywhere. This is my favorite Jordan of all time, and yes, I have restored these. Um, they're a little dirty right now. Again, that's why I don't like to wear these. Now, these 13s are very rare for me to rock just because this is the only pair of original Flint 13s I have. Same with the playoffs, but the playoffs are a little easier to get. But the Flints is just a special colorway. The navy blue, the gray accents with the suede, just everything on this shoe is just beautiful. I mean, you, you, you can't deny you know, the looks of this shoe. I mean, th this is better than any Air Jordan 11. This is better than any four. This is better than any Jordan in the world to me. The Flint 13s, and I don't care who says you're going too damn far. You kiss my A-double-S because this is the best Air Jordan ever made to me. This is my personal opinion. And it looks even great on camera. It looks beautiful. And you see, this is original. Hologram is smoked out. Same with the bottom, smoked out. And how you can tell this is original as well, besides the hologram, is um, 1998 was the only year the side panel of the blue was navy. I'm talking about pretty much the whole parts of the blue, except for the, the, the light part with the jump, man. This whole shoe with the, with the blue panels, navy. A lot of people get it mixed up with the 05 being you know, navy as well, but they're not. They're the French blue flints. This is the navy blue flints. This is difference. Um, they don't seem like a difference on the 05. They look true to the originals, but they're not when you compare them. Um, even the insole is navy. The, the retros of the 05s and the 2010s are French, and they even got lighter on the 2010s. And um, this year, that is a shoe I will pay 194. Um, this is my holy grails right here, the Flint 13s. This is this is what I consider a shoe a holy grail. Um, not too many grails I have. I don't really consider shoes as grail. It's a shoe. Shoes a shoe is just something that you put on your feet and wear. But at the same time, I like sneakers. I'm a Nike head. That's all I pretty much buy besides, you know, wearing Jordans. I buy Nike brand stuff. But the Flint 13s is just, I can go on and on about this shoe. Um, the leather. Now, the last time I seen a Flint 13 retro was 2010. We all have. And I was super disappointed. It crushed my heart. Also, to see a gray insole on the 2010s, I was really disappointed. No 3M. Disappointed. Um, the, the narrow of the toe box. Disappointed. It's, it's just, it was sad um, to, to see a beautiful shoe going to waste to crap. And um, I, I told myself, if I would get the Flint 13s again, they have to be the originals. Um, I was going to settle for the 05s until I seen the 2010s, and I said, no. I have to redeem myself. Do it the right way. Get the 1998s. And now that I have the 1998s in my hand, they're not going anywhere. I will pass this on down to my kids, to the great-grandkids, to the great-great-great-grandkids. Um, these aren't going anywhere, unless if... I die or whatever, these ain't going nowhere. Um, this is this is my favorite Jordan of all time. Um, so 190 for these in 2017. I'm definitely gonna get a pair of these so I can I, I don't want to wear these. I'm just gonna keep these in the box. I don't have the original original box, so they came with the original Air Jordan 12 box, and you could tell the previous guy who sold me these was a sneaker head as well. But um Yes, these will not be leaving my site. That's basically it. I don't really get into the whole release thing. I don't get into the whole hype beast thing. I pretty much don't really even talk about Jordans and stuff like that anymore because they're overrated. But I do have to um show you my little my little you know top three releases that I already have that are gonna be coming back out again. So really it was unnecessary to make this video, but I don't care. You get the like button, dislike button, whatever. Um, stay stay tuned for more. It's your boy Nike Stein. Um, getting ready to come with that new genre album. Shout out to my the half the duo of the group LT. You know, 
another brother from another mother. So um, we coming back with that Creative Minds EP coming soon. So y'all stay tuned. This is your boy Nike Stein 2345. I'm saying peace.